hey collective hey welcome back guys welcome back shout out to the entire youtube fam shout out to everyone that has donated guys thank you everybody that has booked the personal reading thank you guys okay let's go ahead and jump right in give me some messages for the collective all right we are seeing crossroads okay crossroads there is some sort of turning point uh collective that's coming for some of you guys you could be getting ready to reach your peak moment okay literally getting ready to reach your peak moment okay some of you guys are being elevated you might have a lot of options or for somebody you might be getting ready to um you may have to decide something here because again this also says multiple paths okay you might be, uh, again, having to decide which road you're going to take, which path you're going to take. But whatever, I feel like whatever road you take, whatever path you decide to take collective, uh, you getting ready to reach your peak moment, okay? Give me some more messages for the collective. Something is changing here with Turning Point, Crossroads. Yeah, we're, we're seeing Garden, okay? Something is blossoming. Something is blossoming, Collective. And again, what did I say? It's like you you getting ready to reach your peak moment, right? Uh, for some of you guys, again, you might have multiple options or you are already on the road and there are, um, you know, multiple paths along your journey, right? But whatever, again, whatever route you take, okay, is something specific about a certain path, a certain direction, a certain route. Something is blossoming for you. It's like a, either a new door is going to open or there may have been a roadblock along a certain path, right? But it's like that blockage is being removed. Again, garden is here. Something is blossoming. Give me some more messages for the collective. We say in library, okay? For some of you guys, I feel like with this library here, this is like giving Akashic Records, okay? This, this is giving Akashic Records. You have access to the storehouse of information. So for, for somebody, it's like you are a seer. You are a prophet of some kind, okay? Um, you've had a glimpse of this path that you're getting ready to take or this peak moment that you're getting ready to have. Again, the Akashic Records. This is the storehouse of information, guys. This is where um, all the information lies, you know, about your future, your past lives, your uh, ancestors, the lineage that you from. I'm also picking up this said uh, I'm also picking up just resources. Re just resources. Again, it's like it's like this path, right, that you're getting ready to take, right? Where you're about to reach your peak moment. I feel like whatever this is that is blossoming or something being worked out collective or something is going to work out in your favor here. Um you have a lot of resources here. Or it's like, I'm also picking up like people working behind the scenes for you. Yeah, I'm seeing church, okay? So for some of you, I feel like you are very uh, connected spiritually here with church. So for a lot of you, this is definitely you being, uh, you having access, excuse me, to the Akashic Records at this time. I feel like you are connected with your higher self. 
it's something very sacred about your path or it's something very sacred about this path that you're getting ready to take. For some of you, you could have been doing research on spirituality, uh, research on religions. Uh, again, you really just connecting with your higher self, um, educating yourself more, okay? Uh, when it comes to this uh, thing, well, for some of you, you might even be into church. I don't know. I'm not here to judge nobody. Um, but again, it's something very sacred about your path, collective. Yeah, I'm seeing desert here. Let's clarify. What is this crossroad for the collective? The sun card and the devil card. I'm going to just take the one off top, okay? So I feel like you about to get some sort of clarity. You're going to get some sort of clarity, collective. I'm also seeing the Knights of Pentacles at the bottom. There could be some sort of solid offer that you 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 get here. Whatever this is, it has taken a while. Again, garden. This this whatever this this is that's coming in for you, it has been blossoming. But for somebody, you're gonna get some clarity about your path, okay, or which route you need to take. What is this garden? What is this blossoming? We got the Queen of Wands and the Royal card. I'm going to just take the Queen of Wands, okay? You could do something creative. You could also really be tapping into your magic, okay? What is this library for the collective? Whoa. Yeah, five of cups is here. And what did I just say? Some of you guys could be tapping into your magic and I'm seeing the magician here. So for somebody, I feel like you really need to tap into your magic. You, you really need to tap into your power, okay? It's something very majestic about you. Something very magical about you, collective. For some of you, you really need to... uh. Tap into the Akashic Records here. I feel like this will help shift your energy because somebody, you feel like you've taken a loss or you're in regret about something. You may be confused about your paths here, but again, you're going to get some clarity. Why is church here? The hangman and the nine of pentacles, I'm going to just take the one off top, okay? I feel like for somebody, you could have become spiritually stagnant. You may have become spiritually stagnant. Why is desert here? So I got two that fell face down. I'm going to just uh, shuffle again. Why is desert here for the collective? Temperance card, this is dope. Uh, something you don't see. There's something hidden, collective. It's something coming towards you. You see the Knight of Swords wanted to come out. And then um, I just saw the Eight of Wands. So something is going to pick up quick. Something is going to happen for you quick, collective. Whoa, hold on. One of my cards is like sticky. One of my cards is like sticky. What in the room? What is this clarity coming towards the collective with the sun card? So I got two that came out and I'm actually shuffling. Hold on, guys. Upside down, I think. Let me try this again. What is this clarity coming for the collective? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shuffling upside down. I'm going to take it up right. We got protection. For somebody, you highly protected here. You are highly protected. I feel like you definitely need... It's like you sleep on yourself here with the Five of Cups. 
You are literally sleep on yourself. You need to tap into your magic. Tap into your power. You know, we ain't worried about the naysayers. You know what I'm saying? And what they got to say. You know what I'm saying? You know who you serve. You know you, you're doing things with the right intention. That's what it's about. Your heart space. Your intention collective. Something about your destiny is protected. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your destiny is protected here, collective. What is this Queen of Wands with uh, the garden? We see him beyond. Yeah, you need to go beyond, collective. Wow. I'm also picking up with this beyond, right? Because what did I say? Something is blossoming. You need to tap into your magic, right? So it's like, this is you going beyond your ancestors, right? Um, this is you going beyond, I feel like, physical, uh, I don't know if this is the the correct word, but I'm going to say it. it's, it's, it's like there, you limited yourself. So it's like you going beyond your limitations, okay? You need to go beyond your limitations. You are being spiritually guided here with guidance. You're being called to go beyond collective. Your destiny is protected. Your path is protected. For some of you, you might need to do some studying or do some research. For others of you, you need to trust the information that you are receiving. What is this five of cups with library? Whoa, and this just flew right out my hand. Blueprint, okay? But we are seeing transcend here. There's a um infinity symbol here. Limitless potential. And blueprint. I'm gonna just keep blueprint because how it came out. Yeah, it's like the blueprint is in the Akashic Records. For somebody, you have access to the Akashic Records, okay? I'm seeing truth here. This is where you're going to discover a lot of truth. This is where you're going to discover the information that you are seeking in the Akashic Records. For some of you, you might have to raise your vibration to be able to tap in. What is this, the hangman? Why is the hangman here? All right, we're saying it's already happened. What is this temperance? Whoa, they just flipping over. Why is temperance here for the collective? We see intolerance, okay? Something is about to balance out for you. I'm seeing compassion. This is the one that just came out and I put it back in. Something is about to balance out for you. Something is going to work out in your favor. I feel like whoever you are, you've been dealing with a lot with tolerance here. You've went through a lot, collective, with tolerance here. But something has already happened. Again, library is here. You have access to the Akashic Records. You have access to the storehouse of information. Something has already taken place. And remember, we saw, uh, we did see trust. It's like, and I said, you need to trust the information that you are receiving. Trust the information, trust the downloads, okay? Trust the dreams, trust the visions, okay? Trust the communication that you are receiving because something has already happened, collective. And I say this a lot. A lot of times when you are spiritually gifted, right? You can be in this five of cups energy where you down and out, you sad, you know, your energy feeling kind of drained. You might feel a little sluggish. You might feel like, again, you took an L. You, you took some sort of loss. Or you might be in regret of some kind. But there are visions that you are receiving. There is information that God is giving you that you need to believe. You need to trust. God is giving you those things for a reason. Because he know the, the, the season that you are in is like a desert. He know you going through a drought, okay? 
So those visions, the communication that you getting from the Holy Spirit, that's so you can hold on. That's so you can push through because it has already happened. For somebody, you are a seer. You are a seer. For somebody, you coming out of church. Church is keeping somebody spiritually stagnant here. And, I, and, and it's nothing negative against church. But you, you, you are a vessel of God with channel here. You call it the channel some sort of messages. You don't have a traditional path. Your path is not traditional. Again, uh, something about your path, something about your path collective is highly protected. You will not walk a traditional path here, whoever you are. It's something blossoming or it's something that, uh, again, I feel like this is just really you needing to tap into your magic, tap into, uh, you. I mean, connect with your higher self. And for somebody, I feel like you going through this drought because, again, church with the hangman here, I'm really picking up. It's like church, I'm not even going to say church. I'm going to say religion is keeping somebody spiritually stagnant. Because when you are a part of a religion, right? Every religion have their own beliefs. Every religion have their own way of doing things or their own way of how things should be done. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like that's hindering somebody. Because you are not traditional. You you and this Queen of Wands energy. You are very magical. What did I say? It's something very majestic about you. God has already given you the blueprint here. But it's like you, whoever you are, you maybe this could, now listen, readings could be past, present, or future. But whoever you are, you are somebody who was in church at one point. You, you are somebody who, who being called out of church. You being called out of religion. Because again, that's why it's like a desert over here. You drying up. You too gifted. You too spiritually gifted to sit under religion. Let me see if I can get a couple more. Um... Let's pull from this. And I feel like for somebody, that might be the crossroad. You might be battling religion and spirituality. You have to understand religion come from spirituality. Religion stem from spirituality. It wasn't always religions, okay? that was, Religion is man-made. So what did I say? For somebody, your path is not traditional. You're going to be enlightened. You're going to get some sort of clarity about your path. And I'm telling you, you are protected along the way. Whoever you are, you, you are also receiving visions. You're getting information from the Akashic records, okay? It's, it, and what did I say? It's like God is, is, is allowing you to tap in for a reason, Yeah, blueprint. I forgot. Blueprint is here. This is why God is allowing you to tap in into the Akashic Records. This is where the blueprint is at. It's already happened here. Whoever you are, you also have Archangel Michael with you. Give me some more messages for the collective. We say in karmic release, radical transformation. Yes, this makes so much sense. You're going through a deep transformation, whoever you are. You being called to release any karmic energies, anything karmic of your past. And, and let, let me say this. I'm not, again, I'm not knocking church, but whoever you are, I'm not knocking religion. Your path is bigger than religion. It's bigger than church. Your calling. For some of you, that is a, a karmic release that you're going to have to let go is church or religion. And there's nothing wrong with that because I started off in church. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's essentially a great foundation for anybody uh, sp uh, spiritually. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's like the basics. 
before God began to elevate you. You may go through the church phase or the religion phase. But for somebody, this is a karmic release that you're going to have to let go because you're bigger than that. Again, you are not called to walk a traditional path. Your path is not going to look like your parents. It's not going to look like your siblings. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to look like your classmates, okay? And I'm seeing the central sun here. So we have the sun card twice. Again, somebody, you you are uh, reaching your peak moment you are being elevated in the spiritual realm you're about to tap into some sort of success here and this says abundance downloads again I, I already said it you are a seer some of you guys are prophets there's a lot of uh divine information that you are receiving again abundance downloads Yes, yeah, spirit guides, confirmation, great lessons, halls of learning, okay? So what did I just get done talking about, guys, with church and religion? That's that's essentially a great foundation. Um, that's usually where we all start, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like there were great lessons that you had to learn. There were some things you had to go through and experience collective. But this is why, because you are being elevated and you, you will, again, you will not walk a traditional path. So there are more tests that you will have. There are more lessons that you have to learn. You, you have been spiritually guided this entire time. You have been spiritually guided collected this entire time. Yeah, karmic board clearing cannot make this up, guys. Cannot make it up. Energetic clearing. Rewrite your story. Live your truth. For somebody, God is calling you out of church. I, and don't kill me in the comments. I might have, you know, some traditional people watching. You know, again, this is uh, nothing against church. You know, I will still go to church to this day. I'll still go and visit. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like fellowship and praise and worship. I love that whole church experience you know what i'm saying but whoever you are you are chosen you are a child of the cosmos okay <laughs> you you're not here to walk a traditional path you're not here to do what everybody else doing you're gonna have to live your truth you're gonna have to step out on faith this says rewrite your story and i feel like for somebody with this rewrite your story you know what i'm saying because i kind of talked about it your path not being your parents' path and your siblings' path. This is you rewriting your story, taking your own route. Crossroads here. Taking your own route. At some point, you're going to have to put on them big girl panties or them big boy drawers. You feel me? Period. <laughs> it is what it is. I had to. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still, I, I, I still deal with that to this day. And whoever you are, you might not even be able to tell people things because people might think you tripping. You crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? You just might have to step away. And again, follow God. Do what God is calling you to do. You have Archangel Michael with you. He's been with you the whole time. But now again, you're being elevated. God is spiritually elevating somebody along their spiritual journey. But it's like, as long as you stay under this umbrella of religion, you're going to stay spiritually stagnant. You got to come up out of it. So I hope this message resonated, guys. Please don't kill me in the comments, okay? I am just the messenger, baby. That is it. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. Everything is going to work out for you, collective. Don't be afraid. You are highly protected, okay? You are highly protected, but again, you being called to rewrite your own story. You know what I'm saying? So this is dope. This is always a beautiful thing, you know, 
this experience uh, is very uh, spontaneous. So uh, enjoy the ride, collective. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you guys for watching.